dot get download url and now i can add the event listener here so i'm going to add success listener so once the url is successfully retrieved from the storage we'll do something all right so and it's going to give us the uri so this uri is the uri of the image that we have uploaded just now okay now once that is done i'm going to so i'm going to use picasso now because the sync is done in the background and i can use get method lower and uri is the uri and now i can use placeholder here but for now i'm not going to use any placeholder i'm just going to uh, set this image to the image view and the image view that we have is profile image okay so if you remember this profile image is the image view that is reference to this image view here okay now i'm going to run this application again and we should be able to display the image there but before that i'm going to what i'm going to do here is disable this because uh, if we are already setting the image into the image view we'll not be able to tell the difference so i'm going to comment this out for now and so that we'll be able to see the difference once the image is uploaded and that is fetched from the storage and displayed in the image view so run this again oops i forgot to give the semicolon here so fix that run again okay the app is running now and now i'm going to change the profile and select some image from the gallery so let me select some image now oh, let me um select another image instead of that same one i'm going to select this one okay now it is not displaying here but it is uploading in the background we have not displayed any progress bar here so once the image is uploaded it should be displayed here so we'll wait for that okay now it is loading image here later we we'll, yeah now it is displaying the image and if i go back to the console here and refresh this now this profile image is replaced with the one we have uploaded here and you should remember that i'm replacing the same image again and again because this image is you know profile image and user will have only one profile image so if user wants to change the profile image then we'll override the image that is already present because we'll not let the user uh, have the multiple images in our case for this application only but if you want to do that if you want to have the different name then you can set the different name here well, here and you'll have the all the images present in the uh, storage there okay now what i want to do is since we already have the image now i want to display that image okay initially here so that you don't need to upload the image to be displayed there so what i want to do is initially now already ha we have the image uploaded i want to face that image and display that in the image uri here so to do that i can use i need to uh, create the storage reference obviously so in the on create i'm going to go to here here okay now i'm going to create another storage reference here local storage reference profile ref as a variable name and i'm going to use a storage reference and i'm going to set the child and give the name of the image make sure that you are giving the name exactly right here otherwise you won't be able to um, retrieve the image so profile ref dot get download url and set the on success listener new on success listener and here inside this i'm going to use the picasso to load the image into image view so we have the uri and into profile image is the image view that i want to use okay now if i load this application let me close this if i um, rerun this application we should be able to see this image without uploading new image and if i change the image and close this application and open it again we should be able to see that new image there okay without doing anything so yeah run this again and we'll see but this is not optimal here in our case in our application we'll have multiple user so multiple user will have multiple profile images so in our case right now we'll have only one image is uploaded here no matter how many times you will uh, change it and if the multiple user log into our application and change 
upload the image it will override the image and the last one will be displayed to the all the user so we don't want that to happen we don't want uh, user to be able to access the image uploaded by one user to the other user we want all the user to have the separate directory so that they can upload their own image so we'll do that later but for now let's see the application is running and you can see it is displaying automatically so i'm going to change this to something else now okay let me change that to this one now it's going to upload this okay so this is the image now i'm going to close this application and i'm going to open this application again and it should display the image here okay now it is displaying the image so this is the profile image of for this particular user but as i said we'll have the multiple user and currently we are not letting every user to have its own profile image but we are creating one universal profile image so here we need to change this uh, access level here okay so we need to have the storage based on the for the every user registered in our application so every user will have its own profile image so to do that i'm going to create a reference here users and inside that i'm going to use the uid of the user so i'm going to use the uid so to get the uid i can use fr.getCurrentUser.getUID. uid okay and i'm going to copy the same thing from here and i'm going to paste that to the uh, path we here as well okay so now currently here we have this one profile image all right and this profile image is uh, given for all the users but now if i run this application we should have the one separate directory here and if i log out from that user and create another we should have another directory here so i'll show you that so let me run this application and we'll see that in practice okay okay so currently we don't have any profile picture for this user because i have changed the path now i'm going to set the new profile picture so click on this click on gallery and select any image so i'm gonna select this image i don't know why i like this image <laughs> because it is lightweight so i'll be able to upload it faster okay the image is uploaded now all right now i'm gonna go back here and if i refresh this we should see the directory new directory called users that is what i have given here users and we should have another directory inside that user call uh, by the uh, random get uid of that particular user so let me go in inside this and we should have the new directory with the uid of the particular user and if i open this we should have the profile.jpg okay so this profile picture is only available for this user this particular user other user cannot see it okay so this is the uh, you know user based or document based uh, access label we are filtering here so that every user can have their own profile picture okay so this is the logic that i use but i don't know what other people do or what other professional do so this is good for the starter for this simple project to demonstrate this to you guys i'm going to log out from this and i'm going to log into the other account that i have and or i'll create new account okay so and you guys will understand what i'm saying okay let's register once a user, user is registered, we'll go to the main activity and it says it's, uh, it has sent the verification email. So we'll not talk about that because I have already made the video on that. But now you can see I have email, username and phone number and the image is not displayed here. So the user is different. So I'm going to change the profile, select new image. Let me select some image, this one. And once that image is uploaded, we should be able, we should see some new directory here for that particular user. So I'm going to refresh this. Yes. Now we have new folder for new user. And if I click on that, we'll have the new profile.jpg. So now I have two users registered in my application and they are, the two separate users have separate directory for their separate profile image so that they'll be able to update their image or get their image when they are logged into our application. 
okay so uh, now if I close this application here and log into the previous application or previous login as a previous user then we should be able to see that user's profile picture okay so currently this is the user I'm gonna log out so yeah now I'm going to log into the other user because 112 at the gmail.com and uh, give the password as because one two three and click on login and we should be able to see the different profile picture for this different user okay so this is the profile picture of this particular user and another user has the another profile picture so guys this is how we change the profile picture in firebase with the authenticated user but if you want me to show you guys how to change this full name and uh, email phone number then uh, let me know in the comment box below and i'll create the new video on that but for now don't forget to like this video if if this video help you and uh, share this video if you want subscribe to our channel so that you'll not miss any other video that i'll put on firebase or any other topic and hit that bell icon so that you will get the notification as soon as i publish the video okay so i'll see you in the next one bye bye have a good day